case in 2005 from a gentleman that was a fishing guide out of Oak Ridge, and he and his wife lived here. But I ended up buying the place, then we refurbished it, put fireplaces in, like you see here, uh, put fireplaces in, uh, in the uh, both pavilion and the other house that we have in the cabin and ended up decorating with uh, antiques from all over the country, mainly North Carolina, Tennessee, and upstate New York with fishing antiques. Uh, it has everything from creels to bamboo fly rods hanging on the wall to uh, old backpacks, things like that. So it's really kind of a neat uh, historical place. There's some original paintings here from Norris Stamp and some original artists. And what's been fortunate about having the Clinch River House is that we've had everything from articles of Southern Living that were written to Montgomery Life that were written about the Clinch River House. So what it does is produce people from Texas that come here to fish, from Cincinnati, from uh, Michigan, uh, all, all across the, the area from Nashville, particularly from Nashville and Middle Tennessee. I have a lot of people that are basically come back every year and stay with us. So it's been, a, it's been a great thing to have guests come here and they catch fish. I make them leave how many fish that they've caught to, to tell us how many fish they've caught. They leave, leave, leave me a note. And so that happens. So it's, it's, been, a good, it's been a good ride. Uh, the house here is located right on uh, a shoal, right on the Clinch River, that actually holds round trout as well as rainbow trout. And when the water is down, when the uh, dam's not generating, you can wade across uh, all the way from one end to the other and a lot of people and even myself uh, wade through there and uh, fish for a trout right behind the house and it's been one of those fun things. In the evenings what's great to do is the fish will start to rise and you can sit on the uh, back of the uh, pavilion and watch the fish rise and of course if you don't sit very long before you got your fishing rod out and ready to go back down there and try it again. So it works really well.